All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're shooting on the GoPro today because I need a wide angle camera so we can get both of these bikes in frame, which we have the C3 Strom Astro Pro, and then we have the Rev1 from Ride One Up over here. These bikes are both so similar. I believe they come from the same factory warehouse when they're made, and these things are badass. You can't go wrong with buying either one of these bikes, but I wanna give you guys the pros and cons of both of them and why you should pick one over the other. So let's get into the video and check it out. You're gonna notice that both of them have the same exact display. They also have the same button layout on this side with the half twist throttle, the same grips. They also have the same buttons to turn the bike on and then go up and down for pedal assist. So if we come over here to the ride one up, you're gonna see it's exactly the same. The only changes you're gonna notice in this area are gonna be the handlebars. They both have like the same rise, but these handlebars are a lot thinner and these handlebars on the C3 Strom are a lot thicker. Both bikes obviously have brake lights on them. I will say that the C3 Strom, it's dimmer than the Rev1, but at the same time, the C3 Strom has a cooler brake light in my opinion. But if you want the brightest brake light, you're gonna wanna go with the Rev1 on this one. Now these bikes both have nice seats. They're very nice and cushy. Um, you can't go wrong with any one of them, but I will say that the Ride One Up is ever so slightly softer, especially with having rear suspension on the Ride One Up, which the C3 Strom does not have rear suspension whatsoever in the rear. So it feels like a solid bike on the road, but at the same time, it feels very uncomfortable when you have a bad road that you're riding on. The C3 Strom has plastic fenders and they look pretty cool. In my opinion, they look better than the Rev1, but I do like the fact that these are more heavier duty and they are metal. Both bikes have the option to have a secondary battery. So on the C3 Strom, you put it on the back storage luggage rack and then on the ride one up, you're gonna have it right in the center rack right here. You could also put a basket here if you want. The biggest thing I like about the ride one up with the secondary battery is that the controller is right down here. So it makes it very easy to hide all the wires compared to the C3 Strom. If you were to hook up a battery here and have the cable run, you would actually have to run it through the outside because all the controller setup is way down here in the midsection. But if you don't put a secondary battery on these bikes, they obviously both have 20 amp hour batteries and they are both a 52 volt system. At the same time, both of these batteries on both bikes are protected just in case you crash your bike. So I like the fact that both companies did that. There's no really win or pro or con about this. The only con about the C3 Strom in this situation is aftermarket batteries will not fit because it is a very tight section right here. So a bigger battery will actually fit on the ride one up. So this bigger battery down here fits on the top right here, whereas it won't fit on the C3 Strom. We got turn signals on both bikes. This is gonna be personal preference. On the Rev1, they look brighter and they're more pronounced and they're dedicated to the left or right side. Whereas the C3 Strom has a very cool look on how they did their turn signal, how it has that little strobing effect. That looks pretty cool. That's gonna be a personal opinion on what you like more, but I personally would say the C3 Strom is pretty cool. Now, one of the biggest difference with these bikes is gonna be the fact that the C3 Strom is going to be best at pedaling. So you come down here and you have a seven speed Shimano down here with a derailleur and you have a huge chain ring up here. So this is gonna be a perfect bike for pedaling. Compared to the Ride One Up, you have no gears whatsoever, which you could probably look online and replace and find something. But uh, you do have a smaller chain ring up front. This bike is not very good to pedal whatsoever. So it just depends on what you're really looking for in that area. Both pedals on these bikes are pretty cheap. The Ride One Up has way more cheaper pedals than the C3 Strom. This has Wellgo pedals on it. They're still a cheap brand, but to me, they look better than the Ride One Up. Now moving on to the front, we got nice cable management on both, and we also have daytime running lights on both bikes. No complaints with that whatsoever. Turn signals in the front as well. Most bikes do not come with turn signals in the front, only in the rear. I like that. I will say that the C3 Strom does have blacked out turn signals, which look better in my opinion. These ones are clear and they stand out a little bit more, but the cool look to this is gonna be that one. Now the headlight on the C3 Strom to me looks better just because it's more unique. You don't see this on bikes very often. On the Ride One Up, this is your traditional circle headlight, 
But I will say the Ride One Up beats the C3 Strom in this because the Ride One Up has a very better headlight quality than the C3 Strom. But this is still a very great headlight depending on whatever bike you buy. This one just beats it ever so slightly by a little. Now moving on down to the wheels. Both of them are rocking the same wheel set by Bafang. They both have 750 watt motors on them. I will say that the Rev 1 does have a higher top speed by two more miles an hour than the C3 Strom. This bike tops out at 35. This one will top out at 37. But I noticed that going downhill on the ride one up, you'll get about 40 miles an hour. On this one, you'll get roughly about 38 miles an hour. So there's a two mile an hour difference right there for both top speed and going downhill. The C3 Strom, in my opinion, has the better tires for my type of riding. But if you're gonna go more off-roading, you might wanna look at picking up the Rev 1. Now, these tires are very thick on the C3 Strom, so I'm not worried about getting a like, flat. These are also thick too. They're not as thick. They're a little bit softer. So it really just depends on preference on that. But I love the street tires on the C3 Strom. Both bikes are also rocking the same forks. So the setup on the front end is going to be completely the same. There's no difference on these. They're rocking the same hydraulic brakes on both bikes. I will say that the Ride One Up does not have any logos at all on the brakes while the C3 Strom does have their C3 logo right there. So I'm not exactly sure if that's the hydraulic brake for this bike or they just put their logo on there. But both bikes feel exactly the same with braking. The only difference is the C3 Strom has much bigger brake rotors than the Rev 1. So the Rev 1, I believe, has 180 millimeter. And on this one, you got 203. So the C3 Strom, to me, wins in braking power overall. Now, both bikes come at a lower speed out of the box, but to unlock them, they're a little bit different. The C3 Strom makes it very, very easy to do that. All you have to do is get the app on your iPhone or Android, hit the off-road mode, and it will just ask you to accept the terms and conditions. You just hit accept, you're good to go, and it's automatically like you're going down the road doing 35 miles an hour. The ride one up, on the other hand, you actually have to contact the company and fill out a form once you fill out the form, you put in your driver's license or whatever you got to put in there and then your order number. It takes about five minutes and then you get all the information to unlock the bike, which actually takes a little longer. So I have to give the win to the C3 Strom if you just want to get out there and ride without having to sign anything. All right, so let's walk around these bikes as we talk about it. I'm going to give you my guys' honest opinion on both of these. And to me, I'm going to be real. The C3 Strom, to me looks cooler and that's probably going to be a very personal preference thing on what you guys think i do think the ride one up is a gorgeous bike and that's honestly the bike that i'm going to keep overall because it does have suspension in the rear which is great and you have a bunch of room in the middle to put like a box in there to do a 72 volt all that kind of stuff so there's a lot of upgrade pass on that bike on this one you're kind of limited because there's real no like area to like bolt some stuff in the back. So it's kind of limited on what you can. And it's a very odd little shape down there. So it's a lot different than most bikes out there to kind of do some modifications. But I will say the C3 Strom to me just looks so much better because it's a unique bike out on the market. You don't really see bikes like this. Whereas you look at this bike and you're like, oh, that's a Super 73 RX. Like it looks like every other bike out there with the same similar design. Now, obviously it has its own touches and it does look cool. And I highly recommend this one over that one because the price. But either way, this one just looks unique when you're riding down the street. Which brings me to my next point on why I'm recommending the ride one up compared to the C3 Strom. And that really just has to do with there's no rear suspension on the C3 Strom. And then the price is obviously $300 more than the Ride One Up. So you really can't go wrong with getting the Ride One Up because it is a very comfortable bike on the market and they both get similar range and they're both so similar in the specs and parts that they come with. So that's my personal opinion. You guys can take it for what it's worth, but I just wanted to make this video and kind of show you the difference because a lot of people aren't gonna have these bikes side by side. But regardless of what bike you get, they are awesome. If you do want to wait on buying this bike with my coupon code, which might be expired by now, you guys can go try it if you want. But they are coming out with a deluxe model of the C3 Strom Astro. So I don't know if it's going to be Astro Deluxe or what it's going to be called, but they're going to have suspension in the rear of their next model. So I'm very curious to see how that's going to be, but also what's going to be the price. If this one's $2,700, are they gonna mark this one down and then put the other one at like 27 or 2,800 bucks? Or is it gonna be over $3,000? If it is, 
then this bike will still be the winner in my book. But guys and girls, I got like a 7% audience of girls, but um, we'll just wait to see what um, C3 Strom comes out with in the future and then just keep riding, be safe out there. And hopefully this video helped you. I have discount codes for both of these bikes. I believe this one is $100 off and $50 off of this one if the code still works again. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the true MVPs. Love all you guys. Be safe again while riding. See you guys in the next one. Peace.